So it's the 8th of September, we're out here in the Kharkiv Oblast and we're down underground with the boys in one of their bunkers and big news is the Queen has just died at 96 and it sort of dawned I think upon us of those deaths, those very famous people when they die you remember where you are and I so had this feeling of this will definitely be one of those deaths where we definitely uh, remember where we are underground with your mates with the volunteers out here um, to find out that news uh, for for the Commonwealth so something massive and I guess we'll mark this day and this occasion and oh, it's definitely something I'll, I'll never forget here please leave my car alone the shelling with MLRS just over that way funny thing to say. now counter battery so that's counter battery? Yeah, it's outgoing. Right. What's probably happened is they probably shelled over that direction with MLRS, probably the Eurogans, this 300mm one, they just mm. shoot them down because they're quite big. Uh, they're super inaccurate. Um, but then they, they probably, the air defence has probably shot one down, then that's why I went outside, the rest landed over that way, so. Probably just shelled another staging area or something. Firstly, thanks for inviting me to your makeshift home i guess yeah, yeah um, it's all right and that comfortable it's very comfortable and it's warm living under the ground in the bunker yep no keeps you out the elements in that mate what so. are we 10 feet deep uh about that yeah they uh this is one of the nicer built ones um obviously it depends on what facilities you have access to so they've they've obviously made planks to to stop the ground caving in um and uh you know like strip the bark and stuff which just keeps them tidy and everything but uh yeah this is one of the better built ones just take a while to build yeah mate it's comfortable sleeping on the top bunk last night i don't think it was too warm <laughs> yeah if you have the heater on this uh, it's a bit of a nightmare obviously you've got this thing which is called a brujuka and uh what that does is just just a just a uh, wood stove basically yeah. so it, you know keeps you warm at night and how effective is something like this against like artillery uh really pretty effective if, you, if you're going to take a direct hit um obviously it, again I'm, I'm not an engineer so i won't yeah. be able to tell you the exact uh, dimension of everything but direct hit you're going to suffer a bit um but in regards to everything else sort of around the bunker you you're good you're not going to take any shrapnel or anything obviously uh, you're yeah. underground um back in sort of 29 uh, 29 19 20 21 years when i was on the in the front line in the east um didn't really get too much artillery uh but mortars uh, spg rec recoilless rifles that would hit the bunkers and yeah. uh yeah, it wouldn't see much of a drama. It would shake, you might have to do some repairs, rebar the wood, that sort of thing, but other than that, it was pretty decent, mate. I have a, a big passion about um, austere medicine um, and trauma care and stuff like that. So, um, obviously, uh, yeah, the layman, a smart man, would go to university, study, become a nurse or a doctor, which is something I considered, but uh, maybe I just don't have the patience for it anymore. So, decided to come out here to, to work as a combat medic in the military. Um, again, just, uh, you know, uh, best thing to do for me was, you know, stay in the military life. So it's always, always been well for me, fared well for me. So uh, came out here, joined the Ukrainian Marines alongside a few other British uh, British volunteers who are unfortunately now captured. They were captured in Mariupol. Everywhere is um, target. Every, every, every target, uh, it's uh, so random. Yes. When you um, are fighting on the front line, uh, uh, Russian shelling you and trying to kill you. There's a big difference. It's uh, this uh, thoughts uh, when you are frontline will never stand you alone. Mm -hmm. It's every time with you, you're trying to survive and work for result to be a uh, great soldier for your country if i need need it to my country i do it russians do the big mistake that uh, they um angrier of uh, people like me before war starts people like me don't care about army and warfare and other stuffs when uh, war starts the middle class is the people who trying to get money to be a more educated uh, they don't care about army warfare and other when they started people like me going on a war and trying to kill it 
I wish you all the best for the future. Huh? I wish you. I wish you. Thank well. you. And, and thank you too, mate. And thank you very much for speaking with me. I do really, I do really appreciate it. I'm sad about your queen. Yes. Yes. Yeah. No, Sorry you. about that, but it's a new beginning. It's a new I think. beginning, and yes, yeah. thank you for your condolences. Great woman, Elizabeth. II. second. Actually, at the beginning uh, of the war, uh, I was afraid for my life, but now, no, no, no. I feel nothing. Why? I don't know. Maybe because uh, I saw a lot of death, a lot of horrible things, so my brain decided to do not uh, feel this yeah. emotion. So. Now I don't afraid to be killed or something like that. Yeah, yeah when you all in the blood and uh, you come, came back to the base and you just, what the fuck? What just happened? I, I don't know. It's a lot of injuries I saw. So people without eyes, without ears, uh, without bad injuries of face, uh, actually without faces in total. Um, a lot of things. It's, it's really difficult to talk about this actually. So because you start to remember all these things and. Uh, the very that come to mind when you. Yeah. Talking about it. Yeah, I remember uh, all faces. Right. Yeah, and sometimes uh, in dream you can see the, these faces. So. We are just driving back off some of the military positions we are at and we saw these kids dressed in like some plate carriers and stuff and we've gone up to say hello and they are incredibly friendly and they've made a trench system, overhead protection, got their own little fire in there, they've got like pretend radios and pretend guns and they are all digging in right out on this like sort of frontline area on but great kids having a great time and children's laughter no matter where you are in the world is such a great thing to hear especially in a time of war that that innocence that greatness around so much evil that's happening these little these little tackers are having a great time so it's fantastic how are you i'm can we see your trenches can you show okay. <laughs> you talk english uh, oh. no, no. <laughs> oh that was in Go, go, go in. Huh? Yeah, they're coming. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what are these? What's that over there? Oh, it's New York. 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 <laughs> oh, very fun! Look at that! We've got coffee, we've got RPG! Oh, yeah, da, da. That's great! Good fun! Dobre, dobre. Dobre. You've even got a fire? Got a little yeah. fire? Yeah. Спасибо большое. Вам тоже. Goodbye. Bye. See you guys. Bye.